Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming today. Myself, as well as the upper management, just want to ensure that you know that you are doing a great job so far and the membership sales team is doing outstanding. However, this organization has dedicated themselves on always becoming better. And that's where we are today, trying to find new ways to get better as an organization and as well as a membership sales team. So today, I'm going to go over talking a little bit about our goals and expectations, moving into our the ability to perform um, for you individuals out in the sales force field um, and the membership sales um, and trying to get the most for your money, as well as the reinforcement and then moving into uh, the salience and, and providing um, the rewards for, for how hard you work and your motivation. Next, into the equity and more along the lines of your employee satisfaction, where you stand within this organization through acknowledgement um, and reward is, is key for us to, to analyze. And then finally, timeliness and then recommendations. Timeliness, um, seeing are our rewards adequate with the time um, that you put in, as well as the time um, after each quarter of the sales has come in and the numbers are projected as well as the recommendations that I have after my analysis and really go in depth on what we can change to be better at the organization and as well as the membership sales. So first looking at our goals and expectations, we use a goal setting process that uses both the employee and the manager to help decide suitable goals for the individuals. Sometimes, however, there have been goals that are set too low where it provides uh, little effort for those individuals to get to, to attain those goals and then moving into um, into the future we need to make sure that we have those effective goals um, where we haven't seen those so far because they are becoming a little bit easier um, and as well as the expectations I know myself as your manager I have high expectations for each and every single one of you I know what you can accomplish and that's why we, I need to see a better expectation level set from all of you individuals within the membership sales area Next is looking at the ability to perform. Uh, one of the biggest downsides is the training process that we bring on with some of our younger individuals here within the membership sales group. One thing is that we've thrown a lot of these individuals into the marketplace and really don't give them the necessary training beforehand. So that's one thing that really can provide a huge benefit for us if we make sure every individual is trained properly, trained well, and really looked after a model of one of our membership sales group individuals who have been here a while that way they can really understand the ball the ball game and really know where to find those membership sales and really how to go about that. And as well, the resources for success. Currently, we don't have a process for any of the employees to offer to ask for any additional resources if they may need. So that's something that if we want to become a better organization, we have to have those resources in place for every employee to evolve. Next, we're going into our reinforcement. Uh, internally, we use what are called score sheets for based on our sales and our work effort during each and every quarter. I've seen lately that these score sheets are becoming less and less a priority and individuals are becoming lackadaisical per se. And that's something that can't happen if we want to become a better organization than where we are today. There are, in fact, rewards for strong performance. There are financial incentives for performing very well. However, or underperformance, there's just no financial gain. That's really the only, uh, the only net downside um, to not performing well, and that needs to change. There should be um, some sort of punishment involved in underperforming and not meeting your expectations and your goals that you have set for yourself. Next, moving into the salience, um, we look at are the rewards truly worth the effort? Are you going to be rewarded? handsomely for your effort and your hard work within the membership sales arena. Um, as you can see in this chart, we want to give you the motivation to help outperform all of the individuals. As you can see, with more motivation, there is a higher performance rank. Now, along many other sales areas that I've worked with in the past, outperforming others for motivation is something that all these individuals and all these teams use, and that's something that we really don't see here um, at the membership sales area, and that's something that needs to change. We want to become a better organization, and we can start by doing it internally. Next, we're going to look at the equity. Going across our entire organization, there's very vague regulations currently in place for the reward system. A lot of the time, many of the same organizations, whether it be membership sales, IT, or any other department, uses the same type of reward system, and that shouldn't happen. 
that's something where membership sales needs to take an individualized approach to how we are want to be rewarded and how we should be rewarded based on our work. Now, moving into the customer, the employee satisfaction, a lot of the time there have been noticed that many of the employees are doing a great job. However, they're not being acknowledged for their great job. That's a problem. We need to make sure that each person, whether they do a great job or do a perfect job every single time, needs to be acknowledged no matter the situation. And as well, um, multiple different groups um, can be involved in the situation and can be involved in any sort of certain project. We need to make sure that each person is acknowledged and each person is respected because of their hard work and dedication to this organization. Now we're going to go into the timeliness. Uh, the rewards uh, are based off of each quarter sales. That's something that we pride ourselves on by being a quarterly business and quarterly operations that provides us with breaking the year down into four different segments and really knowing where we stand at each of those four individual quarters. Now, the current position of each employee is sometimes unknown, and that's a big problem. Each employee needs to know where they stand, how they stand, and what kind of time frame they need to help either pick up their game or to really stay at the current level they are and keep improving as the quarter goes on. Sometimes, in regards to timeliness of performance feedback, that's something that the management team, along with myself, is some sort of lacking in. There is sometimes not consistent feedback. With that being said, there needs to be more dialogue between each and every individual. This inconsistent feedback can lead to individuals being lackadaisical, not understanding their full potential, and really underperforming on all of their goals that they set for themselves. There also needs to be a relationship with long-term goals in mind. There should always be a long-term goal in mind for each employee, and we've seen that there really hasn't been any of those individuals with those long-term goals, and they're not really looking for something in the future. So looking at the overall arching factors, we looked at, I looked at three analysis of problems um, that I saw. And one of the main uh, problems was employees don't know where they are in regards, in regards to financial incentives. That's a huge problem with, especially being in the sales area. There needs to be some sort of system in place where each employee knows where they stand at all times, no matter the situation. Next, long-term long goals are not specified, uh, at, specified enough um, throughout the sales team organization. This is something that the sales team really needs to strive for if we want to become one of the better teams within the organization mm -hmm. that really helps drive the business forward and progresses us throughout the future. And finally, a teamwork component has decreased significantly. Um, that's due to several factors of uh, lack of acknowledgement as well as lack of the financial incentives for working as a team. And that's something that needs to change because sales can be a team environment and we need to uh, enhance that. So finally, the recommendations moving forward. Our first recommend, my first recommendation is a tier reward system. As you can see in this graph, um, a tier reward system shows that no matter what each employee does for their sales, they know where they are at every specific time. So in this first one, between one and $5,000, they're at the bottom tier. Within the second is $5,000 to $8,000, and $8,000 and above is in the top tier. This is something where each employee knows where they are at all times, and then they can strive to become better and move up to that next level. Second is bi-weekly meetings with myself. This will help ensure that each individual is, has a short-term and long-term goal in place, and that we can work together to make sure we solve each and every single one of those goals. And finally, fair distributed uh, of rewards um, when working as a team. This is something that is really needs to happen. This is going to be based on um, team reviews and team evaluations that will be kept anonymous. Uh, that way, each financial incentive is given out equally. And finally, just to review what we talked about, our goals and expectations, my, our ability to perform, the reinforcement, the salience, the equity, the timeliness, and as well as a few recommendations that I gave. Now, if your dreams don't scare you, they aren't big enough, is what Muhammad Ali says. I know that each and every single one of you bring a lot to this organization, and we want to be able to strive to do better moving into the future. If there are any questions or comments, please let me know. I will be, I will be here after the meeting.